so good afternoon and welcome to my channel today's learning experience is that I'm going to take or attempt to take out the back wheel from my Lexmoto Tempest um, it needs a good cleanup so I decided I'd take it out find out how it comes out and also give it give it a good clean up and also I've noticed there's some light scaring on the brake disc so I'm going to change the disc put new pads in and clean up what appears to be a little bit of corrosion or rust on the cylinders in the brake caliper um, as I say I've never done it before so let's give it a go first thing I can see obviously we're going to have to take the chain off maybe there's a split link which hopefully there is and that will make it quite an easy job uh, maybe get away without taking the adjustment off at this stage unless we do have to uh, d on, uh, take the adjustment off in order to get the chain off then this is, appears to be a long bolt goes all the way through the middle the head size or spanner size for those is uh, appears to be 19 mil okay and on this side there's a nut on the other end of the bolt and there's this bracket which holds on the brake caliper now that appears to be held in place a by this bolt here and if you can see I'm not sure if I'm showing you properly down there there's a long slot adjustment slot in that metal piece that goes onto a fixed bar there which is the other end of it so hopefully all we'll have to do is take this out um, and we should perhaps get the wheel out maybe having to take the brake caliper off but um, not sure about that yet uh, and you can probably see from this angle there is a little bit of scaring on the disc although it's not too severe and I don't think it would be an MOT failure but you never know it depends who's testing it okay so I've assembled a few tools first thing to do is get that bolt out um, you'll notice over there there's a clean piece of uh, well it's an old envelope but it's white paper uh, hopefully using that I'll be able to uh, lay out the pieces that come out uh, make sure making sure that I get any spacers or washers back in the correct place when it goes back together so let's have a go this side to begin with how's that look in terms of the picture I think that's got a reasonable shot give it a go at that so first of all get this nut off and see where we go from there oh maybe I'll loosen it first of all yeah, it's going nice and nicely and then but first of all let's spin that wheel round spin the wheel round and let's see if we've got a split link anywhere ah there we are nice and easy don't know whether you can see that but uh, just there is a split link which makes the job nice and easy so if I, once I get that off uh, I'll be able to drop the chain and proceed from there With any lock, it won't be too much of a hardship. Yeah, that's coming. So there's the first six, there's the, the clip. Push the link out. Do a tap, get to overcome the grease. Haven't had much to do with motorbikes, but plenty to do with racing carts, gearbox carts which have had the same same size chain so I drop that off and roll it around until the front falls off, brilliant 
Okay, so to proceed, get this nut off. I just put that in place on the white paper. And then using this hammer, which is a soft metal hammer, it's not a steel hammer, it's a, some sort of copper and, and brass alloy. There she goes. First of all, the adjuster. Then there's a spacer with the outside edge going to the uh, swing arm. in the wheel now and there she goes so I'll put that over on the paper and again take off the spacer and if I can get the caliper off there we go so that's it the wheels out lovely so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go away, let's turn it around a little bit, I'm going to go away and clean all of that up and then when that's done I'll come back and uh, just to see whether the replacement brake disc I've got is the right one. It's not the one listed for this bike but it's the same dimensions and I've seen it elsewhere specified as a replacement for this bike. Okay, so that's that for now. Okay, so there's the wheel. I'll give it a good uh, coating of degreaser. I haven't washed it off yet because that would involve using water, obviously. And I don't want to get any water into the bearings or anything while it's off. So what I'll do now is I'll have a go at changing the disc, see if the new one indeed does fit, and uh, then get the wheel back into place. Um, hopefully after having replaced the brake pads. So let's get going with that. 12 mil on there anymore. But it's not making it too difficult to get them off. There you go. Now the new disc is slightly different, but it is a Lexmoto part and looks as though it's going to do a good job. Look at that, can't be anything wrong with that. So let's go ahead and uh, get that bolted into place. Degreaser onto the uh, the disc. We're going to do some uh, do that with some brake cleaner in a little while. So there we are, new disc in situ. Pretty neat, eh? So we put that to one side. Let's leave that outside there. And have a quick look at the brake pads. So let's turn this around.
have a look, see what's going on here. Right, so that's going to swing out of there. I'm going to take that pin out, and that pin is actually screwed in. It seems to hold both the pads. There's a bit of oil on those. The pads are different. So this one will go on first. Like that. And then this one to go on there like that. But first of all, let's take that back out again for a moment. And that needs a little bit, I don't know whether you can see that, but it does need a little bit of a clean up on the, the caliper itself. So I'll do that now and uh, go from there. I'll, uh, whilst I'm doing that, I'll turn the camera off and uh, get back to you when it's done.